Ow! Watch out! I just shaved another year off of my life. I'm down to 28. Get hit in the head. I'm gonna grab a nice big slurp of river water. Knock off a couple more years of my life expectancy. All right, folks, Polly Jr. here, and welcome to Medieval Dynasty by Toplitz Productions. I did receive a code from them to play the game and share it with you here on the channel, so that's what we're going to do. And there is a link down below in the description if you want to check it out for yourself. That'll lead you to the Steam Store page where it is on sale right now. I think 20% off. Where's the fire, buddy? Um, yeah, I think it's like 22 or $23 right now, normally $30. Where is that guy heading? Oh, he just ran home. Uh, yeah, so it is a medieval life simulator with some RPG elements. Quiet over there, cow! Trying to do an intro. Holy moly. The livestock is super low. Let's get out of town. Let's get out of town. We are here to build up our new life, and we'll talk outside of town so that we don't have any more distractions. All right, so we have to build a new life here. And again, it is a life simulator, uh, part survival game, uh, where we have to collect and craft and build and that kind of thing. There's also some RPG elements where you can talk to the townsfolk and get quests. And um, you have skills. Let me bring up my skill window here. See inventory, we got skills. Um, we have a journal here that shows us our current quests and all the other quests that we've done. Side quests, main quests, etc. We have a big map here. We're up here by Gustovia. And there's uh, there's war in the south in the beginning of the game. There's a bit of a cutscene, and it talks about war here. And we travel to the north to get away from the war to find our rich uncle, but apparently he's dead. And uh, we did inherit his hammer, and we can build a house and start a new life. And here's our management. We can recruit people to help us build up a whole town, and we can collect taxes and all that fun stuff. And then we have a technology tree here as well. Um, so, yeah, it's a whole bunch of things rolled into one. And we'll see how it works. So, yeah, if you want to see more after this video, let me know. Leave a like on the video. Leave a comment, feedback, tips, etc. You know the drill. And I very much appreciate it. All right. So, our current quest is Chapter 1, A New Beginning. Uh, we need to craft a stone axe, cut down some trees, gather some straw... And I've already talked to the Castellan. That was a long, long conversation. And he told us that we can collect reeds over here by the river. And again, he did give us a hammer. It's my uncle's hammer. And we can assign that to a slot, right? Yeah, let's do that. And we can move the torch as well to the torch slot. Um, it is a dedicated torch slot, which, which is pretty cool. All right, so let's craft up that axe first, which we can do with the Q menu. We have crafting here, building houses. And building other stuff like traps, campfires, furnitures, and so forth. But we are mostly interested right now in a stone axe. Ten sticks, two rocks that I already picked up. And there we go. And huzzah, we now have an axe. Let's put that on the hot bar. Say one. All right. Um, yeah, let's grab some reeds. And then we're going to find a location to build up our house. And start our life here in the medieval times. Which is going to be fantastic. I mean, what could be better? 16 hours of hard labor in the fields. There's famine, plagues, uh, war. Uh, you live to about maybe 33 if you're lucky. That's the life expectancy unless you get killed by a tree or someone sticks a sword through your head. What just happened? Okay, we gained an experience points. Skill. So apparently these are usage-based. So because we're plucking reeds, we have gained one talent point. And we can spend it on these... Um, these skills. So we're just going to invest in the first one here and that gives us more skill points. Cool. In survival. Very, very nice. All right, we've got all the reeds, I think. I'm just going to grab a few extra. It's always a good idea. All right, now we got to go cut down some trees. So let's find a good location to start our medieval life here, our, our dynasty. Uh, I'm thinking maybe along the river. I love to have a riverfront property, that would be pretty sweet. But we want a nice, flat, open area so that we can expand and uh, recruit other people. And we can build farms and barns and have livestock and all that jazz. Um, how about we go across the river? There's a town here and there's a town right there. We'll be close to the town so we can do some trading and recruiting. I wonder if we can fish. And how deep is this river? It doesn't look very deep. Oh, it's not. We can drink it? Ooh, 
Okay, sure. Hmm. <laughs> yes. I just shaved three years off my life expectancy. I'm down to like 30 now, maybe 29. Again, if I don't get crushed by a tree or eaten by a bear. There are wolves and bears apparently out here too, so you gotta keep your eyes open for that kind of thing. Um, life is not easy here in medieval days, and that's why this is gonna be fun a fun challenge, right? Sure. All right, let's, um, this looks like a nice place right here on the shore. It's relatively flat, and we get our waterfront property. It's all about location, my friends. Location, location, location. Waterfront properties are always worth more than non-waterfront properties. Timber! And down it goes. Boom! All right, so that's one tree. Let's cut down all the trees. We need five total. Whoops, get in there. And we can build our first house. Ooh, grab those branches. Timber! Oh, right across the path. Oh, boy. I'm not going to be making any friends around this town. That's for sure. Oh, what's happening? I'm getting tired. Yeah, so my vision gets all a little fuzzy and hazy when you get tired. That's the um, stamina bar down in the bottom left. You can see it slowly depleting as I swing my axe. And now it's going back up again. So I'm assuming the red is health, and the gr orange must be food, and the blue is obviously hydration. And we just said, wow, watch out! We just drank out of the river. So I wonder how many parasites we got with that. Find out later tonight, probably, when we have to use the outhouse. Do we have an outhouse? Uh, we'll just dig a hole. That's fine. All right, we got logs. Pick them up. How many logs can we pick up, I wonder? <laughs> I'm sure there's a carry capacity, which we'll figure out here in a second. Oh, carrying too much. Yes, there is a carry capacity. Let's see. Oh, here it is. Yellow. Um, yeah, we're just a bit overweight, but we can still move, and that's nice. So apparently you have to chop these trees into logs first. I love the overhand chop. That is amazing. Hiya! Really nice. I don't know if there's a third person. Ow! Watch out! Ugh! I just shaved another year off of my life. I'm down to 28. Get hit in the head. <laughs> what is this? Feather. Pick it up. All right. Let's plop down a cozy cottage right here by the river. We'll live down by the river. Whoop, wrong thing. There we go. Houses and a small house. These are locked till we learn those technologies. But small house is going to have to do. In fact, I like little small houses. Oh, no. Maybe we can't put it here. Oh, yes, we can. Right there. Uh, before we do that, I should probably... Move this wood. I'm afraid it's going to get destroyed if we don't. Pick that up. Oh, another feather over here. This could be an indication that there's some kind of predator around. Or maybe some kind of bird disease. And here I am picking up the feathers. I think I just knocked off another year of my life. We're down to 27 or 26 or something. It's, it's getting bad. Anyway, let's build our house right there. We only have to get through one episode. That's all. So we should be able to do this. Let's plop that down right there. And hopefully that stump goes by. Um, is that a door right there? I think the door is facing the road, which is what we want, right? Of course we do. Boop. All right. Fantastic. Get rid of the stump. St. John's Wart. Oh, that's really good. That is actually excellent for combating poison. More feathers. All right. All right. Now, I wonder if that grows back. I don't know. Hopefully I didn't crush any of it with the house. Let's, uh, let's focus on the house. Let's get our hammer up now. And, oh, there we go. Look at that. Small house, 0% made of wattle. So wattle is sticks and logs. Um, well, it's better than straw, right? But not quite as good as brick. Hopefully there's no big bad wolves around. There we go. I love it. Look at that. It's literally a house made of sticks. This hammer is magical. Thank you, Uncle. Uncle Jordan was the feller that left us this hammer. Apparently he was wealthy, lived in this area, and had a lot of money, but he got killed by some bandits on the road. Somebody on the road. You will learn that in the beginning if you watch the cutscene, and then go through the whole uh, beginning, talking to the castle and the town and everything, but it is literally 15, 20 minutes. So that's why I cut that part out. Let's finish up our uh, waddle wall over here. We can Apparently we can edit these and change the style. Um, yeah, we can do a solid wall, window, or another door here. I'm just going to go with the basic blueprint, and we'll stick with the default. Okay, well now we need more logs, and we got the reeds for the roof, right? 
uh, which require reeds and logs. Oh, excuse me, stump. All right, we gotta get rid of this tree. Oh, no, no, try the axe. Yeah, there we go. Just cut another six months off my life there. Bloody knuckles, probably get infected. Life ain't easy here in medieval times. <laughs> So I wonder how interesting this uh, simulation is going to be. It's not fantasy. It's all based on reality. Um, we are on Earth. And we're going to have to deal with um, some of the warlike nations out there. The conquerors and the bandits and so forth. So that should be pretty interesting. All right. Now we need... We still need more logs. Holy smokes. All right, well, this one's pretty close to the path. I'm sure nobody wants this here. There we go. And then this one as well. Oh, I see a mushroom. I see wild growth. Oh, geez, hold on. Let's go pluck it right now. Does that take any energy, plucking? No. Yeah, we got a morel mushroom. Those are fantastic. They are edible. Uh, we'll probably want to cook it first, though. Timber! I love the physics. That is really great. Yeah, we just blocked the whole path now. What is that? A broadleaf plantain? Ooh, plantain. We can eat that right out of the ground. Pick it up. It is uh, a herb that heals, plus 10 health. All right, we don't want to eat it because it's not really food. Oh, we have dried meat on us right here. Okay, we should probably eat some of that. We can eat it right out of the inventory. Yeah, look at that. It's delicious. And we have oat rolls. We have a couple apples. Well, the apples hydrate somewhat. That's nice. All right, very, very good. Okay, let's get our hammer back out here and finish finish the job. Finish our cozy cottage. This is mostly straw for that. One log and straw for this guy. We have probably enough straw for this job. That's why you want to get extra. Like I said, always get extra. Because the tutorials always tell you to get fewer than you actually need. I think it's a conspiracy. They troll us, these developers. Is that it? Small house completed! Chapter 2, A Survivalist. Yay! All right, drop that hammer. Let's go inside our house and check it out. I love these doors, by the way. They just swing open. Huh, push. Yeah, yeah, we're in. Oh, comes complete with uh, two beds. Single bed and a double bed. Now, apparently, we can get married. And we can have children. And that's where the whole dynasty thing comes in. So I imagine we will die at some point. At least this character. And maybe someone else will carry on our legacy. So, yeah, it's not a terrible thing. It's a circle of life, my friends. Oh, we can light that fire. Oh, oh, drop the torch. Look at that. Comes complete with a stone campfire and a cauldron for cooking. And look at this. We can make porridge with oat grain. We can make uh, all kinds of stews and porridges and soups. Lots of meat required. So, yeah, if you're a vegetarian back in um, the Middle Ages, you're in trouble. You are in trouble because everybody eats meat. Um, in fact, we do now have a couple of new quests. We have to set a trap for a rabbit. We have to make a wooden spear, stone knife, and then hunt a wild animal. And then survive for a season. So the seasons are like three in-game days. I mean, they go by really, really quick. Um, I think it's spring right now, and we have to be prepared for the winter. It looks like it's starting to get dark already. Um, let's whip up this uh, spear, wooden spear, right here. It takes a log. Wow. That's a whole lot of carving. And let's um, put it in one slot. Two and three. All right. Whip it out. So we can thrust it. Huh. It's not much of a thrust. That's a poke. That's a poke if I ever saw one. Oh, look at the shadows. Cool. Let's let's watch our shadow poke. Huh. That's, seriously, that's not a thrust, dude. <laughs> that is the weakest thrust I've ever seen. All right, let's make two of these. We're going to have to get another log. There we go. And I thought I saw something walking down the path here. Oh, no, it's just my tree. Yeah, you know what? Let's knock this down. This is going to kill somebody or possibly knock a couple years off their life anyway. <laughs> That's the general theme of this series is how many years can you survive? Water is essential. Yeah, I know. We're drinking out of the river, dude. All right, let's make another spear. We're going to have two spears on us. There we go. Um, and we need to make a wabbit trap. So let's make a rabbit trap. Is that under other? Yeah, right there. Wabbit. Wabbit trap. And it's a whole bunch of sticks. Look at this. We can make fences. Oh, fishing net. Fishing nets. Great. Rat trap. Really? Yeah. We're going to eat rats? Mm, that sounds delicious and healthy. Let's go put our wabbit trap down somewhere. I guess it doesn't really matter where, does it? 
I don't see any rabbits in the area, so I have no idea if this is actually going to work here. Right there looks good. All right, let's get the sticks out of the way. I guess we don't have to bait it. Comes fully baited. Rabbit trap 100%. We can deactivate it if we so desire. So I guess you just wait for a rabbit. And there's some more mushrooms over here too. Hard to target though. Okay, what else do we have to do? We have to make a stone knife. Sounds easy. Right there, rocks and sticks. Or sticks and stones. Okay, so what do we do next? We have to hunt an animal. Um, so let's go out and hunt an animal. Seasons and sleep. There are four seasons. Spring, summer, autumn, and winter. The, seasons, the season changes automatically after three days. Many things depend on the seasons, including the sowing and harvesting times for different cereals and vegetables. Yada, 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 yada. Okay. Very, very good. I'm not going to worry about the seasons right now. We just have to get through this first day and hopefully survive because we're down to like... 22-ish years life expectancy. I think we can make it. I'm going to grab a nice big slurp of river water. Knock off a couple more years of my life expectancy. And now I think what we're going to do is maybe go to bed. See if we can catch an animal in our trap. Or we can just go hunting. But I haven't seen any live animals anywhere. Have you? I haven't seen any movement so I don't know if there's actually animals in the game. I do know that there's bears and wolves. But I don't know about the little fuzzy critters. So we can take a quick walk in the woods and find out. Okay, I'm back. I wandered in the woods for a few minutes. Didn't see any critters. So I think we're just going to go to bed. Let's just check that trap. See if we caught anything in the trap. I haven't really been gone very long. You know, I can't even see it. There it is. Oh, I think we got something. We got a wabbit. Ooh, nice. Collect it. Fantastic. Yeah. Um, that did not qualify for hunting, however. But let's uh, reactivate the trap. Let's go inside and maybe make a, a lovely wabbit stew for the night before bed. All right, drop that torch. Take a look at our cauldron here. Can we make anything? All right, we do not have the proper ingredients. We're going to need more meat anyway, and obviously some vegetation. Apparently, mushrooms do not qualify as uh, a vegetable. Interesting. All right, well, here's what we're going to do then. Let's go to bed, and I'm going to sleep in the big bed here, and we'll see you in the morning, and we'll go hunting if we can. Good night. Whoa. Wow, that was quick. Feels like my head just hit the pillow. <laughs> okay, that's a beautiful day. Let's go do some hunting. The trap is empty. Um, again, I don't know where to hunt. I looked around here and couldn't find anything. Let's go across the bridge and see if we can find some animals over here. Maybe we have to get away from the towns, you know? Because the animals are smart. They don't want to be around humans. Oh, I see something. I see something up on the ridge line. Movement. I cannot identify what it is from this distance. We're going to get closer and hopefully it's not a predator or a bandit. I don't know if you guys can see that. It, it was really quick. Let's get a little closer and see what that was. Keep your eyes peeled. Could be nasty. It was right over here somewhere. It's gone. Could have just been a shadow. I see shadows moving around up here. Maybe that's all it was. This does look like a good hunting ground, though. We're away from civilization. Yeah, I think it was just a shadow. Oh, no, it's a deer. <gasps> Let's get him. Can I throw that far? Oh, you. Okay, it's a whole flock. It's a whole flock of deer. We got the the big guy with the, with the antlers. Let's try to get, get him. It's probably going to take more than one shot. Did I get him? I don't know. Is there a spear sticking out of him? Uh, I think I missed. Dang it. Do you guys see a spear around here somewhere? Yep, there it is. I missed. Darn. How about some small game? Isn't there like a wabbit? Alright, let's try that again. Fog just cleared. Now we can see. We got this little, little one right here. Oh, nailed it! Right in the neck. That's a good shot. And hopefully it bleeds out. I don't want to chase it forever. 
Is it leaving a blood trail, I wonder? I think it's that one right there. <laughs> That's two. That's two spears. Just die. I feel terrible. Oh, yeah. Sticking out of his butt. Give me that thing. Give it. Give it, give it, give it, give it. Come on. Give it up. <laughs> Grabbing everything but the spear. <laughs> okay, I think I got it. <laughs> Nailed it. Oh, and there's a bunny. All this time, I've been looking for a little, little game, small game, and I had to kill the big game. It's a doe, but you know what? We're going to get a lot of meat out of this thing, so let's skin it. With my skinning knife. That was pretty epic. All right, we got three leather and four meat, plus the rabbit meat. So now we have five meat, and there's the, the buck. Just sticking around like a ding-dong. Yeah, we still need vegetables to make the stew anyway. So I guess we're going to have to do some farming or buy the uh, the vegetables from town. Though we don't have any money. Maybe we should go do a quest or something. What was that? Oh, berry bushes. Ooh, what kind of berries we got? Unripe. An unripe fruit. If eaten, it can cause poisoning. Can be used as a dying resource. Can be collected from bushes in the forest in spring. Um, well, when is it going to be ripe? Does it ripen after? Well, hold on. Let's see what this says. In spring, morel mushrooms are edible and can be found in the forest, but unripe berries are poisonous. Oh, it says the it says the um, the mushrooms can be eaten raw. Let me check. Oh, yeah. this They sure can, but it's only one food. Let's eat them up. All right. Fantastic. And we have some dried meat on us, too, that we came with, brought from home. Got to figure out how to get some veggies. All right, let's head back home. At least now we know where the hunting grounds is. We can come back here and hunt wabbits too. And deer. But we're going to head back home and try to cook up this meat. Or do something with it. All right, there's our bridge and home sweet home. I wonder if we can sell meat and hides in town. We, there's definitely traders in town. And I suppose we can check that out in the next episode so yeah let me know if you guys want to see more we shall continue with medieval dynasty and uh see how much longer we can survive here before croaking of some nasty horrible disease or event <laughs> oh the fire did go out ah okay we can just light that again sure put the spear down yeah there's no meat only recipe which seems kind of weird although i think we can make a fire like a regular fire let's see right here a regular campfire which is just sticks um yeah let's try this out let's put it over here by the beach Oop, can't put it that far and then we'll light it and then we can cook on a fire oh yeah we can here we go so just craft up some meat let's press r and let's let's make uh let's just do four i'm gonna cook four oh right on the stick look at that Dual purpose sharp stick, baby. All right, we got grilled meat. Mm mm mm. Fresh venison. Let's eat it. There's dried. Here it is. Roasted meat plus six food. Mmm. Delicious and fresh. Doesn't get any fresher. No nitrates. No growth hormone. It's just 100% organic and natural deer meat. Oh my gosh, there's a giant standing behind me. Don't move. A muscle. See it? Get inside quick. Oh, it's just me. Just kidding. <laughs> All right. Well, I think we're going to call it quits right here for now, folks. We do have to survive for a season. So if you want to see that, like I said, leave a like on the video, comment, um, tips, tricks, all that fun stuff. And we shall continue uh, next time. So hope you enjoyed. Once again, this is Medieval Dynasty. And uh, we shall see you guys next time. Have a good day. Bye-bye. I'm going to go sit by the fire and maybe I'll sleep. I can sleep right here on my beach next to the fire. Oh, that's amazing. But I'll probably catch on fire and that will probably reduce my life expectancy by at least two or three more years. And then we're in the teens. That's real bad. <laughs> All right. Have a good day. Bye-bye.